So today we're gonna jump right in. Basically, the only thing I've kind of done is set up a little bit of a farm, kind of use some of the materials that I already had. I have some wheat growing. Whenever you till up some of the ground, you get some worms. These are from Actually Editions. Fantastic mod, by the way. Um, and yeah, we kind of have some of this planted, which is gonna help us out a lot. I need to do a bunch of mining, but as you can see, my hearts are a little bit higher. And that's because some of the food that we've gotten through quest rewards, I've eaten. And the more food you eat, the higher um, your stuff starts to go. Um, so the higher your hearts, you'll gain uh, hearts for every food type you eat. And so far, the best food that I have to eat is mineral berries from um, Integrated Dynamics. So we definitely have a lot there. Oh, also, the time of recording is April Fool's. So, of course, I do have a pig nose on. Yeah, that... Uh, well, welcome to April Fools in Minecraft. Um, anyways, yeah, and if you guys didn't catch the uh, snapshot on April Fools in 2020, it is absolutely hilarious and really cool, actually. Um, the April Fools uh, Minecraft snapshot was really, really cool. So let's head down here and let's do a little bit of mining um, and kind of see what ores are down here. I did go ahead and get a mine all the way down. Um, and, you know, this is kind of what we have set up, but I don't really have the torches available to really adventure too much so what i need to make is a torch launcher it's not going to take too much to make it's going to take a little bit of gold and i have all the materials at least i should have all the materials ready to go it's going to pull out what we currently have i'm going to use iron for right now um for mining so that's going to be my main my main material that i'm going to be using and i have this right here i need a piece of wood and that's basically it we should be able to make a torch launcher and this is going to be my best friend. <laughs> this is going to help out a ton. Now that we're in the depths of our mine, we can now safely light everything up. There's still going to be mobs we're going to have to encounter, but at least now I can feel a little bit safer. And these caves are so nice. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. What is this thing I have? Look at this. All right. Let's, at least our regular sword is going to be decent. Ooh, now we got this thing an iron gav. What does it say? got a little bit longer range on it um glaive is that what that's called i've never heard of that before all right definitely a quark biome all these caves and stuff are done by quark and i think quark has done a, has done a fantastic job on the caves <laughs> like they're just just making the caves feel comfortable like they feel interesting way better than vanilla all right, so I'm, I'm kind of too high. We actually need to make our way further down and we don't need to be this high. Diamond usually is found in the lower levels right around here, Y level, between like Y level and eight and, and down below. Uh-oh, got this guy to deal with. You know, I should have made a shield. That would have helped out a lot. Oh man, yeah, this guy? Rough, okay, will this work? No. Weird that it's a bit stronger than normal? The other ones I've killed did not give me that problem. Okay, so this is a bit weird. I think this area is a little bit of a mess that this has been caused by... And, yeah, it's been caused by actually additions. Oh, there's a, <laughs> a zombie drummer. Instrumental mobs. Wow. Yeah, this has been definitely, it's definitely been caused by this. There's some crystals up there from that mod. All right, what do we get down here? There was a bat, apparently. Yeah, I definitely need to mine and find some diamond. We get some tin. I'm actually going to mine up the tin. That's going to be kind of useful later on. And the more of it we have, the better. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but when we actually mine up the tin, it does change to the thermal foundation tin. So that's kind of helpful. We're in, I mean, we're in there, our good biome. All right, I'm going to keep mining and see if I can't find some diamond. Should find some right around this level. So as I was mining through here, I just found a random chest. And I'm, I'm kind of scared about this because I, I don't know if this is going to turn into something or is it just going to be a regular chest. Okay, yeah. Um, there's definitely a mob just spawned. All right. Oh, and now I can open it. Oh, it must have been like a haunted chest. That's kind of cool. 
Um, nothing else. I mean, I'm too interested in I'm kind of going to take these things. All right. So I'm definitely finding a lot of stuff mining through here. Um, I did find out that this ax or this saw that I got, it definitely hits hard. All right. Well, I'm going to die here. It hits hard, but not only does it hit hard, it, it decapitates. Um, I'm getting a lot of mob heads, which is working out pretty well. And uh, I'm actually finding a lot of good stuff. So I'm going to continue mining up. I still haven't found diamond, um, but I think we're getting close. So I just mined up some ore and hiding right behind it was some diamond. So I'm now able to break that. What do we got? Let's see. What do I not need? I don't need permafrost. So we got seven diamonds out of that. That is awesome. Because that means we can now make a pick and sort of progress our way through this pack, really upgrade our pick now through Tinkers and get herself well on our way to uh, being able to mine a lot easier. And that's kind of what you want, definitely. Now that we have those diamonds, we can definitely complete some quests. Let's go ahead and just right off the bat, place a stick in here and get herself the Akashic Tome. This thing's really cool. You can uh, take and put books in it. Um, any of the like guides and stuff that you see, you can definitely use it and put books in it. Um, and it definitely unlocks a quest for us and gives us a random reward. We just got a bee sting. Don't really know what that is, but we have one. And we had another random loot. We got a swarm launcher and we just got some still leaf leggings. So now I have a still leaf helmet and I have still leaf leg leggings. So we're getting pretty, ni pretty nice armor already. Um, so you might notice it's a little bit darker in your pack than mine. That's because I do have the uh, darkness mod disabled. It just doesn't suit well with Minecraft. Um, it just really wouldn't. But man, you can see the di the uh, dynamic surroundings, the beautiful Aurora Borealis right here. Man, this I really love the way this mod shines with that. So another quest that we have access to is Best Friends Forever. And now I get to claim all this. Now, here's something that I want you guys to do, because once I place this down, it summons a new dog for me. And I can now access right here, access all of its points, and I can give it a new name instantly. Now, I want you guys in the comments to let me know. Let's go ahead and upgrade it, by the way. This right here gives it some points, and we can put some awesome shades on it. Look at that, looking super cool. I want you guys to name this dog in the comments, and I will pick a random comment from the list down in the comments below, and uh, I will name our dog that name. So come up with some creative ideas. I will be looking for those. I am super excited. Um, so yeah, basically to access this, you just right click it with a stick and we can do all kinds of stuff. We can, uh, it, we now have um, some points that we can start putting things into. One thing that is really cool with this is the fact that we can use it to run around um, and we can actually ride this thing. We do want quick healer on there, so that way it kind of heals itself. Um, what else do we want on here? Not hunting dog. We definitely want to be able to ride it. So wolf mount for sure. And the more points we put into this, the more speed it will have. So I'll go with that. And guard dog, pack puppy. Okay, let's see. Bed finder, I'm fine there. I'm just thinking quick healer. So we're just gonna put everything into that and we should be good. Now, I do want to change the texture of this dog, and I can make it pretty much anything over here. Our gender is female, so keep that in mind at the moment. The gender of our dog is definitely female. All right, what do we have? What is this? That's a cool looking pooch right there. Not gonna lie. Come on, over here. I want you to come over here. I can actually ride you by jumping and right clicking. And then I can ride that. That is a cool feature all in itself. Ow. Or we can just hurt herself. There you go. So, like I said, give me a name. And there's your little bed for you. Enjoy your bed. Should, should be nice and uh, cozy there. So I definitely have some lava down here. Let's go ahead and take advantage of that. Place a little bit of this. Oh, yeah. Um, I need to make sure, though, I have some light. Otherwise, we're going to get some mob spawning. All right, and now you might say, well, why did you make a diamond pickaxe whenever you have Tinker's tools and you can just put a piece of diamond on your Tinker tool? That's because I want to save that modifier slot. Um, it's pretty much a waste, in my opinion, because of what you can do later on. Um, 
I can basically take this stone tool and keep it stone and use it for almost ever um, and always repair it with stone. We're going to do that here in a second, making, in my opinion, the ultimate pickaxe for getting started early on. I think this pickaxe is by far one of the better thing, one of the better tools that you can have at your disposal. And I'm just right now, I'm just gathering as much obsidian as I can as of right now, so I don't have to worry about it later on. So I'm just gathering up a little bit. So I want to do a little bit of adventuring. And at this point, we're kind of, you know, we're kind of, I don't know, defenseless. Um, we can be attacked very easy um, and probably die uh, at the slightest of things. So one thing that would really help me is, uh, well, one one thing, I could probably turn down the sound of my my footsteps. Man, I am really rocking my armor. Uh, but anyways, uh, we need some red dye. I don't see any red dye like anywhere. But, you know, oh well, you know, we'll find it. We'll get our, you know, we'll get ourselves going. <laughs> um, one thing I did notice is there's a giant tree over here. And this is from Thomcraft. Oh, is that a wither? What? There is straight up a wither skeleton, a skeleton spawner right there. Um, okay. Uh, I'm probably going to need that as long as it doesn't disappear from me. But, oh, I was hoping this would be the nice one. If you see, like, cobwebs on these trees, you know there's a chest underneath. There wasn't a chest underneath this one, unfortunately. I will take the melons, though. That's really nice. Finally, I was able to find some poppy flowers. Man, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. There are no red flowers anywhere to be found in the biome that I'm currently in. Which, I mean, is a, not a bad thing because I need to adventure a bit more. Um, but, man... Kind of left me, left me looking, that's for sure. Is there a crow up here? Oh, it's a raven. Sorry, raven. Get wrecked. <laughs> I almost feel like this is some kind of grave. Oh my. There is definitely... Oh, yep, that's bones. <laughs> There was definitely a grave there. I feel so bad now. Oh, this is the streams mod. Look how cool this is. This right here is what the streams mod looks like. And it's it's just so pretty. Like, man, that is that is some really cool stuff there. Look at what it does. You can actually ride a boat through most of this stuff. And oh, it just looks so good. It just really, what a tr what a really cool terrain uh, generation mod. So I told you I was going to take this stone tool here and I was actually going to make it very usable. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I need to take some of the obsidian that I gathered up. And I think that's just about it for right now. We're, we're going to the redstone later. Um, let's go ahead and get this set up. So to upgrade this, we need a sharpening kit and we just need one obsidian sharpening kit. That is basically it. We need to find some flint, which I think I put in here. There we go. Uh, and take this flint and literally upgrade this. So right now, if this is mining level iron. We're about to bring this thing up to mining level cobalt. That's right. We can now mine cobalt with a stone pickaxe. And I think that's the funniest thing. Um, and one thing that I really love to do to this is take the modifiers and immediately just give it some speed for right now. Um, this thing is pretty slow at mining and honestly giving it two boosts of speed is going to help it out a lot. You can see right here, it's going to just give it, usually I do all the modifier speed um, because then once you do that, I just don't have enough right now to really uh, do that. But this thing should mine pretty fast now. Look at that. It mines faster than my diamond pickaxe. Here's the speed of the diamond pickaxe. Pretty slow. This is pretty fast. Now, don't get me wrong, the durability is pretty low on it, right? So I'm going to need to upgrade the durability. But as of right now, I can just constantly repair it with, yeah, that's right, a stone sharpening kit. That's why I really love this tool. And the more you use it, the more you level it up, the more modifiers you get, and the better you can make it, the faster you can make it. 
you can throw all kinds of crazy stuff on here. You can throw lapis on here, and as you mine, you will get looting. There's so many cool things. I think that's kind of what I want to put on here for right now on my other modifier slot is definitely some uh, some luck. That is right. That gives us a little bit of uh, fortune, not looting. I don't know why I said looting. That's a sword. Um, so there we go. We are definitely set with a good pick. Now, we do need to upgrade our forge, um, and we also probably need to get into a better storage system. I know you guys don't want to see a lot of crafting, but we do need to get ourselves situated. So I did go ahead and decorate a room here, and that's why I'm working on clearing out the walls. I do want the walls to look a little bit nicer, and I think simple storage is in here, right? Yes, yeah, simple storage networks is in here. Probably going to be the first place we start with a storage network. It's going to be really simple um, to get that set up. It's not going to take too much at all. Um, but I did want to go ahead and get that bed made. That's the whole reason we went and got these poppy flowers is because if I look at the bed, we can just take a piece of leather, which I think I put that in here too, and some wool. I can dye the wool red. Put that in here with some leather, and we get ourselves a sleeping mat. And uh, it does say that you can right-click to toggle spawn point on, and so that would set spawn point. I do not want it to set spawn points when I use it. Um, so as we're adventuring and it becomes nighttime, we could just hurry up and use the sleeping mat. That saves a lot of trouble at night when you're adventuring. You really don't want that to happen. So I pretty much have everything that I need. I've, I've already crafted everything. Uh, luckily, we get quartz in the underground like just in on the overworld otherwise you'd have to go to the nether and the nether in this pack is pretty rough um so let's go ahead and take a look at what we actually need so i've, I've already got everything ready to go here with civil storage this is going to make our life a lot easier but we do need crates so crates are really nice we have these storage crates there's also some crates from um another mod in here right here called charm which kind of imitates the new stuff from 114 um, in uh, like 113, or I think it's just from 114 where they add the lamps and things like that. Um, so basically, we're just going to go with the regular crates because these things are so large. Um, we should be able to store most of our stuff until we get into other um, other storage mods. So yeah, as you can see, just some sticks and some wood. So really, we can use some of these uh, what I call crafting um, just life hacks. These things are so nice to have some of these crafting hacks here. Um, we can make a bunch of chests super quick. Um, we are also going to need a bit of wood. I think this requires, yeah, the logs as well. So I'm going to save that. And there we go. So let's go ahead and make some of these. That makes four. And we can make two large crates for right now. Um, I will just basically, I just need basically more wood, I think, in order to make the rest, right? There's three. And we're just missing two more chests. That should be pretty easy to get a hold of. And four. Okay, awesome. So four is definitely going to be enough for right now. Um, so how do I want to set this up? Well, I think for right now, I just, I'm just i just going to have my storage master right here. On top of that is going to go the storage request table. And then we're going to set up our crates right here just like that. And uh, I'm gonna hook the cable up to the back, hook up our storage link cables, and that is going to connect to the storages here. And now we pretty much have a place where we can store things. Look at that. The more stuff we put in here, of course, it's gonna continue to fill up these chests. Um, you can actually access these cables here and you can set priority. So if you wanted one to be higher priority than the other, you can of course do that. It's very customizable. And what we can do now is just clear out all the chests and use the space for other things. So one thing you should definitely get right away and one thing I definitely need is the time in the bottle. I, I think I have enough stuff to make a time in the bottle. And man, um, let's see, time bottle right here. We should have enough to make this. Oh yeah. And once we have this thing started, oh, this is gonna make life a lot easier. Um, because you want to get this started as soon as possible. Let's see what we actually got, because we had a random loot reward from this. And we got flattened TNT. I have no idea. Ghost Explosives mod. 
I have no idea what this does. Flattening, or yeah, flattening TNT. I wonder if it like flattens terrain for you. That would be kind of cool. Like it's just like it's instead of like blowing like down, it just flattens an area. That's that. I'm, I'm assuming that's actually what that does. I'm pretty sure it probably is. Um, so as far as quests go, we're actually looking pretty good. Um, I do want to go ahead and get through the tool forge. There's a bit that we have to do to get into more advanced tinkers construct. And that's something that I definitely want to get into. Um, a tool forge is not actually going to be too much to, uh, to move into really. Let's just actually just take a look at iron, right? Iron. And let's see, do we have enough? Yes, we totally do. So it takes this and a little bit of, let's see, tinkers, smeltery. It, I'm pretty sure it takes seared brick to get this started. Forge. Yeah, it definitely does take some seared brick. So for that, we are going to need some grout. Yes, good old fashioned grout. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and break this up and that'll get us started right on our smeltery. So we will have a smeltery started and we're gonna be able to go ahead and break this. I did go ahead and move this, break this tool forge and probably make, I think we have enough stuff, I, I don't know, to, to get a really advanced weapon already. I think one of the best weapons in the game um, is a unbreakable shuriken and we definitely probably want, we probably want to work towards that uh, Getting a shuriken is insane in this pack. So I have all the stuff to make this thing. I'm pretty sure just like this Voila tool forge and uh, this is gonna be really great because this unlocks a lot more things including that shuriken which means we can now create ourselves a pretty much un like unbreakable shuriken now we're not quite there yet we still need a bit more grout and things like that to be cooked up um but as far as everything else goes let's see grout let's see we can make let's see how much more can we actually make so i'm missing gravel so i really need to go out and hunt for some more gravel um, so yeah, I, I really need to make a bunch of this ground because we're going to go ahead and get a Tinker's Construct Smeltery built up and place it in the wall somewhere. Um, probably place it in here, actually, right in this wall. And uh, that way we'll have ourselves a starting point for the Tinker Smeltery. And we can even make ourselves a hammer right now. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we can go ahead and make a just plain cobblestone hammer. So, and, and I mean, that's really a good mining tool. We can treat it the same way we did the stone pickaxe. So let's grab a little bit of wood. As you can see, we are definitely a little bit low on wood, which I think we can use this wood. I, I think so. I'll see. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just make it out of regular materials like this. So we are going to need the hammerhead, of course. Um, we're also going to need these, the large plate patterns. We're going to need the large bindings and large tool rods. And I think that's just about it for this section. Um, as far as what we need, let's take a look here. To make the hammer, we need two of these plates, the head, and yeah. Basically, we're going to make the heads out of cobblestone. This will be out of uh, wood, and so will this rod. So that should give us a pretty decent tool, I think. We'll see. So two of these and the rest will be wood. And like I said, we need a bit more wood to make this piece and to make the rod. And I think that works. I think this works and gives us a pretty decent tool and durability, right? 153. Let's see what it would like, how, how crazy it would be durability wise to use all of this stone here. So actually better, so 207, okay, so it's definitely better to do this way and make it like that. And of course, we could do the same thing we did before with obsidian and flint and adding some speed. And then this thing is repairable with cobblestone. 
Uh oh. There's a mother spider here. These things are awful. These things are disgusting. They they usually walk around with a bunch of little baby spiders on their back. Oh, just like that. Oh, that grosses me out so much because I've actually seen those in real life and it is it is just as awful as you, you might think it is. Okay, let's go ahead and make the obsidian sharpening kit. We need flint. I'm oh it's in my inventory. Uh I need flint and we can just go ahead and add this to this. Doesn't really increase anything except for our mining level. Um, and then, of course, once we get more redstone, I'm going to throw some more redstone in there. And we have ourselves a nifty hammer that can actually mine in a pretty big area here. Look at that. It's not fast right now, but whenever we throw um, some, whenever we throw some uh, redstone in there, the thing definitely gets pretty fast. And like I said, we can just repair it with the cobblestone that we're just constantly gaining while mining. Let's see what reward we actually get for making that tool forge. We just got obsidian water walking boots for that. I I will take those because I think those let me just walk right on top of water. Oh, oh, okay. After we get rid of the, the little spiders. Oh gosh, they're everywhere. Oh no, and we just killed the mom. So now they're, oh, okay. All right, I'll take, I'll get, okay, you guys are gone. Let's check out these boots. These are like from Terraria. Oh yeah, they let me walk on water. That makes life so much easier because I need to find gravel. Oh, this this is really nice. So I think today has been a pretty decent episode and uh, be sure to uh, get that name of the dog down in the comment section below and I will be picking that for next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also join our Discord. Um, it is linked down in the description below. Lots and lots of awesome stuff goes on in our Discord. Um, I believe we are getting very close to hitting that 10,000 member mark. It is absolutely amazing. It is discord.gg forward slash chosen architect. Um, also, I do live stream on Twitch. You can find me there, twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect. Guys, I'm almost done plugging. If you haven't already clicked that like button, I highly recommend doing so. I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.